Alright guys, welcome back to Custom NHL Builds, the series where I make EASHL player builds based off of actual NHL players. This week we're going to be building New York Islanders former Calder Trophy winner Matthew Barzell. Matthew Barzell is an electric skater, having won the fastest skater competition this past season, and standing out as one of the most exciting young playmakers in the league. He's only 23, but he's earned himself a role as the number one center on the Islanders, tasked with 20 minutes a night against the league's top competition, driving the team's possession, and earning a reputation as one of the league's elite skaters. So Barzell is 6 feet tall, 187 pounds, and I just feel like building him as a playmaker is a no-brainer. So not only does he rack up a lot of assists, but he also doesn't really score a ton of goals. He's got great hands, but he generally hovers around 15 to 20 goals a year. I went ahead and gave him Beast Mode 2 because he's such a possession monster, using his speed and puck prote protection skills to circle the wagons in the offensive zone, gain clean zone entry, and extend plays for his teammates. I then uh, went ahead with Quick First Step 2 to boost his skating a little more, and then Marathon Man to make him an even more effective skater as he's able to skate at such a high level and play over 20 minutes a night. So playing with this build online, he skates very well. He's both fast and agile, and with that Marathon Man specialty, has great endurance. His speed allows him to keep defensemen on their toes, drive into passing lanes, back check, get in on the floor check, and that agility makes him a handful when eluding defenders. He pretty much never runs out of energy, which makes him a good two-way player as well, um, who can fly around at top speed all over the ice. I'd say his puck control is one of his biggest assets. He seems to be a little tougher to bump off pucks despite not being a very big player, and he's able to win puck battles a lot better than I expected. He's not particularly physical, and he can definitely get laid out by bigger players if he gets lined up, but his speed allows him to get in on the forecheck and disrupt the play, oftentimes coming out of puck battles with the puck on his stick, thanks to that great puck control. I'd say his hands, while not outstanding, are definitely above average. Combine a few dekes with that elite speed and high passing rating and you've got a deadly combination. I didn't feel the need to boost the passing rating or the deking rating since the playmaker build comes with good base stats in those categories, and I was still able to make plenty of passes through seemingly non-existent pass lanes, got pucks off my stick quickly when there wasn't much time or space to make a play, and just made some highlight real plays. This build's biggest weakness, no question, is the shot. So that beast mode trait, like too many traits in my opinion, just tanks your player's shot. It's pretty rare that you're able to snipe on goalies, even in tight. So not only does he rarely beat goalies when he does get the puck on net, but I've missed wildly with this build, even in close. It's a good thing this build is such a good playmaker because that shot is hot garbage. Overall, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of this build, so this should come as no surprise to anybody because if you've watched this series in the past, then you know I love my playmaker builds. He's fast, deceptively strong on the puck and on the forecheck, he can dangle, he can thread passes, and even be disruptive with, uh, when playing defense. Like I said, the shot is really bad, but he just has so many other tools and is such a great skater, um, and I'm personally not much of a shooter anyway, so... He works great for me. Anyway guys, that's my Matthew Barzell build. This one was getting pretty consistently requested. I think Jack Hockey 13 requested him like almost every week. Um, and I'm a big fan of the way he plays and I think the Islanders are going to need him to come up big in these playoffs if they want to make a splash. So anyway, let me know what you thought of this one and if there's a player you'd like me to build for this series, make sure to leave a comment and I will do my best to get around to it. I get a lot of requests, um, so I'm not gonna be able to get to all of them, but uh, I will try. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.